Hello fellow Rim DeLoreans, welcome back to our Rim DeLorean series. Uh, did a little bit of building off screen, not a ton happened. Um, we got the water wheel done, and then I think more importantly, what we have going on is we got the apparel fabricator finished, which means we can now make the very first tier of Mandalorian gear. It is pretty expensive. Um, Durastil has been kind of hard to come by. And we need to make hypertech components to even use any of these. So, excuse me, they aren't cheap by any means. Um... We're going to be making the first set out of Plasteel, not Beskar, because, well, I have no Beskar. None of the quests have given any Beskar, which is kind of unfortunate. And we have not um, been able to purchase any either. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, otherwise, yeah, we, we got this done finally, so we can make this stuff as well as some other things I mean I don't really foresee us making Rakata warrior armor I guess we could or Jawa robes the one Jawa we have already has robes um, ooh can we scrap mechanoids let's take a look there's gotta be Perhaps not. Well, that's unfortunate. No big deal. Uh, let's take a look. Did you grab... Gear... Okay, he's got the Plasteel. He's got four Hypertech components. Uh, let's suspend these, because I want to start with the chest plate. And I believe we need 60. What, what, what the heck? We got 60. Details. Uh, interesting. Plasteel's not an option on this. I thought it was. What? No, it is. It's right there. I thought so. Okay. Can I have you go ahead and pick up this plasteel, as much of it as you can? 45 should be enough. We should be able to create the first piece of Mandalorian gear. I thought about doing the helmet first, but I decided to go with the uh, chest plate. I think it's a little more useful. Why are we still having issues with this? Let's go down here. Uh, gear. Drop that. Drop this. Now can we do it? There we go. Excellent. Excellent. Like the armorer in Mandalorian. Only with Hopescar. <laughs> oh boy. Hopefully it's a uh, good piece of equipment, and it's not all jacked up and everything. That would be very sad and unfortunate if it turned out not to be great. Um, hopefully everybody liked the first episode of my other series. Um, as of me recording it right now, nobody's viewed it yet, but I anticipate that will change. At least I hope it will change. Um, yeah, so currently also we are doing jetpacks. After all, the enemies of Clan Vash are always on the move and currently have the planet blockaded. 
So I've been thinking about our end goal for this. And I believe what we want to do for an end goal here. Go back and finish this. We don't want anybody else working on that. What I think the end goal should be is a ship battle between Clan Vash and Death Watch. We need to eliminate the ship that is able to pull people out of hyperspace. Because if we aren't able to take care of that, then we can't even leave the planet, much less the system. Granted, it begs the question, where are they even going to go? I don't think Aegis is going to want to take Illyria back to her home. I mean, he might. It all depends on how she feels about it. And there still is a, a pretty big mystery behind Illyria. Only time will tell. Look at him. Hard at work. Paid forced weather. Okay, let's take a look at this. Uh, a rainy thunderstorm for 10 days. You know, that's not bad. That's not bad. What should we take that for? A low shield pack would be good, but we don't have any melee only guys right now, so that's not going to help us. Oh, it allows bullets out, but not in. It's a single use shield pack as well. I guess if we're going to do it, we'll do it for the honor. We'll give Illyria some extra honor. And the credits. That way, um... We aren't Baroque. And honestly, a rainy thunderstorm is not bad at all. For ten days? Easy. Easy, easy. Looks like we're almost done. Galactic credits have arrived. What's going on up here? Oh. That's the credits. Okay. Alright. We're down to the final countdown. And the first piece of Mandalorian gear is done. And it's good quality as well. Let's take a look at this. It's a very simple piece, but effective. 111% sharp, that's good. 53% blunt, that's good. 63% heat, not bad. This isn't, you know, a true piece of best car. It's not going to afford us the um, protection that true pure best car Mandalorian armor would give us but it's a good start next on the docket will be a helmet it will be a while before we can make the helmet because we still need I don't want to use steel for this I'd be okay with any of these other ones Definitely don't want a concrete helmet. That doesn't even sound comfortable to wear. Um, the biggest problem, or the biggest hurdle, is getting these hypertech components. So I'll have to see if I can't trade for those. Uh, we did get a comms console built. And let's go ahead and create a stockpile around this thing. I don't want any foods or anything like that. Okay. And it looks like Illyria has leveled up in the Force. Let's go ahead and dip some into the Force pool. That way she can heal more. What about him? Is he leveled up in the Force? No. We got uh, full points in defense. Um, as far as what comes next, I'm not going to touch any of the lightsaber stuff until we actually have a lightsaber. It doesn't make sense to, you know, be gaining these points and these skills when we don't have a way to practice them. So I'm thinking his next 
will probably be a polar push. You know, just a basic. Uh, this is coming along nicely as well. I guess I can go ahead and allow that. Lovely. Um, this is going to be our uh, Mando and Church. I don't think it would actually be called a church. I'm not sure what we would really call it, but we'll call it the uh, Primary Covert Home. I don't know. It's a work in progress. Workshopping the name. Let's take a look at these. Yep. It looks like they are holding strong. Oh, they're still actually gaining a charge, too. This uh, water mill generator was a great idea. We could technically build a second one. Um, be kind of a tricky, tricky one to place, though. And I know um, it was suggested that we get some fishing spots put up, which I intend to do this episode. I just got to kind of think it over and plan it out how I want to handle it first before we go uh, too deep into that. Um, I think the other thing that I want to focus on this episode is getting a, once this is done, getting a actual either house for them or a separate lab and a hospital going we've lucked out so far and not needed to uh, worry too much about a hospital but we've also dealt with a ton of injured people so I guess we kind of did need a hospital it just hasn't been our people that's been all jacked up and screwed Okay, looks like there's no trader here, which is sad. And look at these silly hats the Empire is wearing. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You think uh, you think Grand Admiral Thrawn would be a little more? Oh, you know, we got some plasteel down here. Let's go ahead and mine that out. But you think Grand Admiral Thrawn would be a little more strict on uniform requirements? I guess not so much right now. Probably bigger problems to worry about. Uh, but yeah, so I suppose we will see what happens and uh, we'll cut back when needed. Welcome back. So we are getting raided by potentially <coughs> the most pathetic raid I've ever seen. Most of these guys are using these uh, throwing shards, throwing knives. And none of them, they have a combined shooting skill of like four between the five of them. <laughs> um, so honestly, this is probably going to be a pretty easy raid. Um, I got plans down for a new building. I'm thinking it's going to be a house. And this is coming along quite nicely. We got the outer structure done. Now we just got to get the floors put in. And then uh, after that, we just need to get the wiring and lights and that stuff um i think i'm gonna have ages deal with this raid because honestly there's no reason for him not to so they're gonna attack immediately which means you're probably gonna intercept them right about here and of course there is a uh new quest let's take a look at this Destroying Waterworth's Death Watch base. Well, you know what? We don't like Death Watch anyway, so there's no reason for us not to use that. What is, to do this? What is Mind Screw? Flex continuous pain on the user. Well, that's just jacked up. Uh, where is this? All right, hang on. I gotta generate the planet. That is pretty far away, and it is a pretty hefty settlement. But they are expanding more and more. 
they got five now and we still only have one although actually we do have enough gold and silver I should say to uh, create a colony um, let's take a look where should we settle this temperate mountainous I'm thinking I'm thinking we definitely want to go further in towards this river um, we kind of don't we have allies up here but we got enemies on all the other sides over here so I'm thinking if we play our cards to kind of settle around in this area we should be relatively secure I'm just curious on how long it's going to take. Theoretically, I mean, if boats were a thing, using the river wouldn't take any time. Honestly, we got certs anyway, SRTSs. So, you know, that's fine. 1.6 days of travel time. Uh, not enough silver on the map. Are you kidding me? I guess galactic credits don't count. Because if we go here, we got 775 silver. Is that including the It might be including the black credits then. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, because we got 500 of those. I don't see them. Oh, okay. So maybe I just have to exchange it for silver from a trader. Got it. Let's deal with this raid. Hey, just where are you? Oh, come on, man. Why are you taking so long? I guess we should pop our force defense. Not that I think we actually need it. Better air on the side of caution. Cause you never know. All right, here we go. And we're starting. Uh, one down. Get the guy with the whip. Two down. He's just mowing through these guys without too much of a problem. All right, three down. Four down. This is about as well as I expected it to go. Five down. Good job. So you guys might notice the... Uh, oh man, took his brain out. <laughs> you guys might notice that there's um, <clears throat> no naughty words on here. That mod's still in place and everything. All of it's working on the back end. I just found a way to hide it. So we can look at health without, you know, worrying about YouTube getting ridiculous with uh, censorship or whatever. Or, you know, embarrassing moments. Someone's parent might walk in. I don't know. I don't know when you guys watch this. Um, yeah, so that went about as well as I thought it would go. And... Why is it... Sh oh, okay, it's right there. I was like, sure, there's a fire here, but I didn't see it. Dude, our batteries are good to go. We're not really using a lot of power right now. Like, even over here, we're gaining more power than we're losing. Because we still got fueled stuff. Which is good. Very good. Um, so, one thing I did want to mention. I mentioned it in my last video. And... I want to mention it in, in pretty much every video from this point forward. There is now a channel Discord. It's just a little public Discord. I'm the only one in it right now as I'm recording this video. So the link will always be in the description of my videos. You won't get it anywhere else. Um, I guess unless somebody sends it to you through other means, which hopefully they don't do that, but... 
by all means, feel free to pop in there, join, talk with me, say hello. Maybe uh, we can get a little interactivity going on in these videos as well. Uh, could be fun. But I will cut back once we have something of interest going on. So see you all shortly. Okay, uh, I only just paused and came back from the last section. And we have 11 man-hunting lemurs looming over us. I don't know how we're going to make it out of this. Um, we just finished glassworks, so that means <coughs> our droid is free to handle this issue. I kind of swap between them. I really need to work on getting some of these other guys' combat experience. But for now, um, I'm using our two best people. I mean, he's having some issues. Skull is. Gray light. He, I don't even think he has a... Yeah, he doesn't even have a weapon. Much less any skill with one. Um, Batista's good. But also has no weapon. Oh, we got a hostile force coming in. Death Watch. Ooh, we're getting attacked by Death Watch. That should be interesting. We'll see if they're actually properly equipped or if they're sending um, some kind of fake Death Watch after us. Okay. So... We can craft lightsabers now. Well, you know, I see no reason not to do this. We got the equipment. So... Why are you unable to do this? Casing, details... Plasteel, five components. Do we not have components? We got four right there. I guess we need to mine some compacted machinery. So what I want to do anytime somebody is crafting or I'm making equipment for that person, I want to have that person craft the equipment for themselves. Unless they don't have a high enough skill to do that. Um, in which case, I mean, I'm tempted to say too bad, so sad you don't get it. Because uh, just it feels on track for Mandalorians to take the time to craft their own equipment to really get that kind of intimate knowledge of their gear. What are these lemurs doing? They're going for... Oh, they're going for Batista. Oh. Batista. I didn't even realize you were down there. Move forward. Run away! We'll worry about this plasteel later. We also have an insane amount of steel. We're at a thousand steel right now. HK, move forward. Cover him. Really need to get some more weapons. Alright, HK, we can move back. I guess we can get rid of that. Alright. Have them dig at the compacted machinery. While our uh, trusty droid deals with these lemurs. I think there's only a couple left. Okay. That threat's over with. These other lemurs are gonna... Need to be finished off, apparently. Go ahead and finish that one off. Correction, finish this one off first. That one's gonna bleed out, and where's the other one? Here it is. Dunzo, and... The refugees have betrayed us. I had a feeling this was going to happen. I really did. And you know what? That is very unfortunate for them. They are going to learn the hard way that betraying Mandalorians is not a smart idea. Where is everybody? She's in the field. 
I forgot. Okay, she's got some throwing knives, so she's not <coughs> completely defenseless. Skull, where are you? You're all the way over here, just washing. We'll go ahead and move you here. Batista, oh, we got we got a blaster here for Batista once we uh, get to using it. On the bright side, they dropped their ion blaster for whatever unknown reason. Which would have really helped them. Okay, Batista's down. That guy is down. Um, gray light, move. Move, move, move. Okay. And then we got the Java still. Oh, man. He's over with. Um, okay. That was simple enough. Let's go ahead and heal Batista. This is what happens when you betray us. You get shot down like the dog you are. And then we still got Death Watch coming in. Or what is this? Why did you land there? Don't I have something right there? Maybe I don't. Okay. They're a ship parts trader. The murder murderous shipping. Very nice. Let's see if they have anything good. I'm thinking that the uh Alright, here comes Death Watch. I'm thinking that these refugees, I'm air quoting here, were um, actually Death Watch. They were trying to get a strike in for... Is it really only one guy? Oh, he's tough. That's good. Has no shooting skill. He does have Mandalorian gear. Uh, I don't know what the deal is with him being fat. But... Oh, he's got Beskar, too. So we do have ourselves a true Mandalorian coming to attack. So I'm thinking we're going to bring HK and Aegis to deal with this. Batista, how you looking? You're looking good. I'm gonna have you equip this DL-44. I really should get some slug throwers. Uh, these are all cool, but we don't need a single one of them. Uh, let's see, skull, I guess, yeah, might as well bring them all to bear because I don't know how strong this guy is going to be if he's wearing full Beskar. Let's take a look at his gear. His armor, 141. Those mechanoids in the first episode all had 200% on their heat resistance. And I'm thinking for these blaster rifles is using heat um, we'll go ahead and use combat command. And we'll try to take him out. Quickly and efficiently. Okay. All right. This is going about as well as I thought it would. Skull move around to the side. There we go. Let's see. Can we... I don't even know who's firing that. Oh, he's firing at HK. HK, go ahead and cover. Let's 
see if we can pull you. Nope. Get behind this rock. It's a little bit of cover. Aegis move the flank. Pop out. Oh, they're beginning their assault finally, eh? Oh, because this is annoying. There we go. It really has a short range. This guy is tanking shots like he's Din Djarin. Absolutely insane. Knight's not going to help us right now because of the ring. Let's hit a pain block. Okay. He's down. Go ahead and strip him. You can return. You can return. And... Good game. Let's see, do we actually want this guy? He's really good at plants. This is another reason why it was so hard to take down. How are you a, how do you have good hygiene but you're also a slob? You know, just for that alone, we're not taking you. Finish him. Finish him. Do it. Let this be a message to Death Watch. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and have him put on the Dura Fiber bodysuit. Because I want to be able to see that cool Mandalorian gear. We'll let somebody else take the composite armor. As far as this stuff goes, let's go ahead and haul this urgently. Um, yeah, that that all happened. That went really well. Unfortunately for HK here. There's not a ton that we can do about fixing them at the moment. Recreation start. Come on, man. All right. Well, I'll cut back once there's something of note happening. Till then. So, it looks like we are to be joined by a magnificent beast. A mega sloth. I've never had one of these in this game, actually, surprisingly. Um, long extinct after being wiped out by Earth's American continent. Interesting. Well, I guess we got a Mega Sloth. I don't know what we're going to do with it. Maybe keep it as just kind of a uh, cool little mascot, <laughs> covert mascot, I don't know. I don't think we're going to ride it into battle. It would be kind of funny though, to see Aegis riding a mega sloth into battle. Um, excuse me. Looks like there is a minor glitch with the ears and the helmet. They kind of poke out, as do the eyebrows, it looks like. But that's okay. Not a big deal. Uh, this is the helmet that dropped off the Death Watch member. We're using it right now, but we are going to craft our own. But for the time being, I figured why not. Um, we do have Batista in the... 
composite armor. And that composite armor is some pretty strong stuff. We took a huge hit to Aegis' defenses by removing that composite armor. But, you know, that's okay. Um, him losing a little bit of armor and Batista gaining a lot of armor is ultimately better in the end anyway. Currently, we are building lightsaber components. And we'll probably make the hilt, but we aren't going to socket a crystal into it just yet. I don't think it makes much sense for that to happen at the moment. I don't think he would have knowledge of how to handle that part. You know, building a hilt for a lightsaber is one thing. Yes, it does require some knowledge and skill behind it, but at the same time, if you're a good enough crafter, I could see, you know, being able to kind of wing it and figure it out. So, let's take a look at the kind of hilts that we can make. I believe we can make them here. What do we want to make? A cross hilt would be pretty cool. I don't think we have... Oh, we do have the dark saber hilt. We gotta do it. We gotta make the dark saber. And it looks like the panther men are gonna raid us. And they're dropping in too. Let's get this queued up first. Uh, details. I don't want to make it out of steel. Honestly, I, I don't want to make it out of anything but pure Beskar. So I think actually what we'll do is we'll wait until we have pure Beskar to make that one. I think for the time being, we'll do a cross hilt, and then we'll build the dark saber down the road to truly cement just as Mandalore. I think that's a fair, fair trade. Yeah. Is plasteel in here? Yeah, it is. Okay. We actually have a decent amount of plasteel, so... Transport pods. But where are they dropping? There's a lot of them, too. Right across our little lake. Bold move. Bold move. Alright, we're back. My headset died. So let's take a look at these individuals. We got Leon Hendershot. That is quite the name. A misogynist and abrasive. Okay. Uh, absolute shit at shooting. Decent at melee. I mean, I say decent. They're pretty bad at it still. At what point do we consider something bad or good? <laughs> um, so I'm not worried about him too much. Do all of these guys have blaster rifles? That's what it's looking like. They got... Some form of ranged weapon. Ooh, T21. Okay, he's bad at shooting. No shooting skill at all. They're pretty bad. Bad. No skill. No skill. Bad. I don't know what it is with these raids and sending people with ranged weapons and then not being able to, like, back up their ability to fire, but it's pretty sad stuff. Um, yeah, let's bring out the whole crew. I don't think... I don't think we need him, and... She can actually probably equip this weapon, and we can actually use her. What are we doing on force points?
34% and this requires I think we have enough to use it two more times. Alright, let's bring her up. We want to be careful with her because she doesn't actually have any any uh, real armor. She's got the Sigma uniform and the rig apparel, but she's kind of a medic, so we're going to keep her behind. Aegis is going to be in the front. Uh, let's go ahead, force defense. And let's pull up to about here. We got some rocks for cover. Lyria, you hit the back here. Yeah, that sounds absolutely lovely. Okay. Just taking some hits. Fire off a heal. Oh, it was just a slaughter. Absolute slaughter. He lost a toe, though. Okay. All in all, not not the worst. Can we Okay, no, apparently not. Good lord. All right. Well, that was that. At least we get some medicine out of it. And it looks like somebody's still alive, perhaps. Swiss. Drunken Master, Ocean Lover, Rowdy, and Depressive. Really good with melee. We don't actually have a prison yet. Um, we could put them in here for now. I'm not worried about it. We can get we can get colonists without a problem. I cannot believe he lost a toe. <laughs> uh, that's that's unfortunate. Trade ship, combat consortium, that might actually be good. Why did you land in the river? We'll take a look at what they have to offer. Um, Valeria, can I have you preach health on him? That would be great. Anyway, we'll cut back. Nobody's in danger of dying. I know he's going to bleed out, but we'll get that tended without a problem. So we'll cut back once... Um, once we take a look and get him tended, now nah, you know, might be okay. Let's prioritizing. Let's prioritize tending him. What are you doing? Herbal medicine, really? I mean, I guess. I just don't get how he's losing that much blood from a single wound. He truly is like Achilles. And just like that, he is fine. You know, it's funny, he lost a toe, and we got literally 20 prosthetic toes over here. <laughs> so, I guess not a big deal. 
What are the odds of that? Let's take a look and see what's in here. I know he's not really our traitor, but... Uh, Batista, where were you? Oh, I forgot to... Undraft you. I, I'm sorry. I was gonna say, I thought we had one extra person in that fight, or we were supposed to. Apparently I'm just an idiot. Good to know. Hey, just sleep. Don't worry about the fire. We literally got like eight more days of this. Where fires are not a concern. All right. That phase two helmet is worth a lot. Good lord. Exiled Dawn Knowledge, Medicine, Barrels, EMP Grenades, the Locust Armor. Handheld Mini Turret. Nice. We'll, uh,. We'll have Illyrio actually trade with them. We'll see if we can't get a better deal on some of that stuff. I think we're going to sell that helmet. Because we can fund an entire colony off of that. But, uh, yeah, we'll cut back uh, once, once we're ready. So, see you shortly. Welcome back. Well... We're working on the cross hilt lightsaber, and this literally is probably going to take quite some time to build, which I'm actually perfectly okay with, because, um, I mean, it makes sense. What is going on here? The player colony scouts. Ranged platform module. Interesting. Who is this? Rayletta. A nine year old? So it's a foundling. They're pretty good at shooting for a foundling. Oh, they're an android? Okay. Well, I guess that makes some sense. But I'm actually going to be getting rid of the android mods. Because I think that's part of the problem we're having with this game, so cannot take that. Masterwork sniper rifle. Where is this at? Oh, hey, an Aurora. Too bad it's uh, thunderstorming. We're only about halfway through it. Is it going to show th even through? Maybe it will. That is wild. Let's see here. Um, you know what? That actually brings up a good point. Now that I sold that item, that helmet, if we go here create a new colony we can actually get this going hold on let me check something really quick damn it I thought I set this. Okay. Let me set this really quick and uh, I'll be right Okay. We're back. Um, I got that fixed. So we're back to what we should be. Let's go ahead and create a colony. Um, I'm thinking... Do we have one with just large hills? Or is it all mountainous? I 
guess over here doesn't matter as much. Yeah, we'll, we'll set them right here. So, one and a half days they will arrive. Um, another thing that I did is I went ahead and renamed Forlom back to Forlom. I was an idiot and didn't realize that that's the actual character's name. It's a Loam series droid, but it is like an actual character, so... I don't want to uh, kind of step on toes with that. Um, this is taking absolutely forever because this fine wood flooring is just a beast to build. It looks like at the very least we got all the resources handled. So now it's just a matter of going in and actually building it. So we'll... Uh, I'll do what I can to end the episode off with that, this being finished, and perhaps this being done too, at the very least the structure of this being finished, but I'll cut back once we get to that point. So looks like we got the force on our side. We have to host somebody for 10 days, and we'll get some pure Beskar out of it. You know, I, I don't see any reason not to. Absolutely we will do it. So, yeah, I've, I'm already working on this lightsaber, but let's... I think we only need ten. <laughs> we absolutely only need ten, so I guess I started the cross hilt a little early. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. We'll, um... We will stick with the cross hilt for a little bit of time. It looks like we're not going to get the, uh... item until after the person's stay is over. Which makes sense, I guess. You don't want to send your bu your buddy over and then reward somebody when they might uh, just kill the person. Not that we would do that. And, oh, hang on. I just realized this is going to be all jacked up in the recording. I apologize. One moment. I apologize for that. I got excited about the pure Beskar and forgot to change the... Um, screen resolution back to what it should be so yeah we're we're probably on track to still finish that and probably use it for a bit I don't think we're gonna worry about making the dark saber for quite some time because we got Mandalorian equipment to make before that so we'll we'll worry about pure Beskar Mandalorian equipment for now but uh, I figured we would pop in and take a look at that. And then eventually we're going to build separate housing for everybody. This we're going to convert to the lab. Uh, and then we still need a uh, kind of... I, I want to build a cantina. I think a cantina is incredibly on point. The only thing is I don't know where we're going to put the cantina. It'd be kind of cool to put the cantina in here. Have like a cantina in the mountain type of deal. What do you guys think of that? Make a comment if you like that idea. If you actually care enough. Um, I'm taking a look at this person. Are they actually going to do work? No, they aren't. I didn't think they would. I was going to say... I'm shocked that that even comes up yeah they're gonna not have much to do but it looks like their eyeballs are cut out so I really don't know how you're going to um, 
observe other cultures without, you know, your peepers. I suppose you can hear about it and talk about it. That would be fine. So, yeah, I'm thinking we'll do a cantina in the mountain. I guess it's more of a hill than a mountain. The awesome blueprint. Okay, we're back. The game crashed. I went ahead and disabled Android's tears. And oddly enough, it looks like we're not having that issue right here anymore. I mean, this is still jacked up, but that's not a problem. Um, so, we'll try this for a couple episodes. I know that somebody requested me make a mod pack or collection on Steam with the mods that I'm using for this playthrough. And so long as things kind of keep where they are in terms of stability and functionality, we'll uh, go ahead and, or I'll go ahead and make that collection so people can kind of play along if they want. Um, I'll probably also do one for the uh, fantasy series, the Dungeons and Dragons series. That one seems to be pretty stable. I played for quite a few hours on that one and did not look to have, excuse me, any issues. Sorry, I got the hiccups. All right. So back to what I was saying. Um, I'm thinking we're going to build a... Mad donkeys. Lovely. Well, I guess uh, meat's back on the menu, boys. And girl. Uh, HK, where are you? Go ahead and kill this donkey for me. Let's finish it off. Are there any more donkeys? There are. There are more donkeys up here. Hunt and hunt. Any others? I don't see any more. So we'll have HK move up this direction. Transport pod crash as well. Let's see what we got. Ooh. A Rodian. They aren't in any danger of dying. They're bruised. Um, yeah, they're okay. We gotta worry about these donkeys first. HK, where are you? Kill them. Kill the donkeys. Hurry. Get rid of them. Destroy them. Run away. Destroy them and run away. Okay, that one's down. Hit that one. Yep, yep. Good job. Good job. Um, I'm not sure how far back this autosave is off the top of my head. Uh, I know this isn't as far along as it was when the game crashed. Uh, that's exactly where it was. So I guess the pure Beskar is no longer on the table. And, okay, yeah, so we did not have our settlement. And this is all messed up, too. Okay, let me, um, let me deal with this. And I'll cut back here shortly. Okay, we're back. I got this fixed again. So we're going to go ahead and slap down a colony right here. I think our original ones probably. It was somewhere around here. It was 1.5 days. Maybe it was just this spot here. Um, oh, shit. Okay. Um... Maybe I spoke too soon. It looks like we're still having some issues with lag. That could be from the storm. I don't know. Uh, but like I said earlier, once I figure out what's causing the drop in performance, I can get uh, a mod pack put together for anybody that wishes to play along. What is a Derringer? 
Oh, it's a little gun. <laughs> All right. I'll grab those. And research. Light installation. Let's, let's grab that. So I think I might end the episode here. I wanted to get it a little bit further, but with the crash and everything, um, I don't want to bloat this episode any more than it already is. Plenty of good stuff still happened and remains. Um, we got Beskar, well not Beskar, but Mandalorian armor, finally. Uh, we got a lightsaber started. Took care of some raids. All in all, pretty good job. Pretty good job. The enemies of Clan Vash still move, but we show them no mercy. Despite what we uh, might have done in the past, we were betrayed. We gotta be careful. You never know where the enemies lurk. But I trust that we'll be more than capable of dealing with enemies as they pop up, whether they come from within or from outside. At either rate, hopefully everybody enjoyed, and see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.